the elders say, what we have here is not ours, it, it belongs to the future generations. And we want to continue to build on the sustainability and make sure that they have something to take care of when it's their time. This is one of our spots we come to on a regular basis to view bears. We have black bears, uh, grizzly bears, and spear bears here. In our culture, there's a lot of respect for bears because people had to learn to live with them. And this is the same place we had our old village site, so people had to share the same salmon, share the same rivers, share the estuaries. Our community started developing a tourism program in 1999, and now it's the second biggest industry in the community. We take guests from all around the world to view bears, and we're doing that without pulling out a fish or without cutting down a tree, and so that's been huge for the community. I'm extremely proud of our, our tourism operation. I mean, you know, we just broke the million dollar mark last year, and this year we're going to surpass that. You know, we have people from all around the world that want to come here and do what we have in the Great Bear Rainforest. For our youth to be able to, to get out on the land, that's huge in itself. You know, for us, we've always had a saying in our community that everything's connected. And if you affect the salmon, it affects the bears. If you affect the bears, you affect the forest. We just signed off on the Great Bear Rainforest Agreement, and 85% of the Great Bear Rainforest is now protected. So we've just signed a deal with the province to implement marine planning on the coast. I mean, those are, are huge things and I think we're moving in the right direction in terms of long-term sustainable economic opportunities. You know, the Great Bear Rainforest is the largest intact coastal temperate rainforest on the planet. We have something unique here and it's very special.